Hey everyone, in today's App of the Day video, I wanted to show you an app called Pocket. Pocket is a really cool organization app that lets you organize every article you come across on the internet. So let's say you come across something on social media like Facebook and you wanna save it or a news article, it could all put it into one place so you never miss an article that you actually liked and you wanted to save to read for later or to share with someone else. Let's download the app for the first time and see how to use it. So when you press open on the app after you download it, it's gonna ask you to sign up and log in. And there's a couple of pages here where you could read more about the app. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign up for the first time here. And then after you sign up, it's gonna ask you to enable share extension. This way you could actually do this on all devices with one click. I'm gonna skip that step for now, but you could take a look at that step and it's gonna give you a couple other steps. So I just wanna get into the app and show you how to get started. So once you jump into the app here, this is the, what the app looks like. On the bottom, you have your navigation. So your home, your favorites, or the place to discover, and then you have your activity and your profile. So the four things on the menu are just that simple. But let's go to the home page and take a look. So on the home page is my list. Right now, I don't have anything. So let's do some discovery. That's the option that has a heart next to it. And here, I could always find friends on here too and make it more of a social media or I could scroll through, see what they have to offer. So here, as I go scroll through Discover, let's say this is an article I wanted to save. So when I get to the article, I could simply press save and it's gonna save it, or I could press the three dots. I could recommend it, add a tag, make it a favorite, or see fewer like it. And as I keep going, I could do the same thing with different articles. So I could save them for later. And now if I go to the homepage, you see they've been saved to my homepage. It's that simple. But if you don't see something under discover, what you could do here is let's say if I go to any single article here, under this article, I could see the publisher here. So I could read more about that publisher and what else they have to offer. So as you could see, there's about and so on about that publisher. As I clicked on the three dots here about that publisher, or I could go back, let me try a different article here. What I could do on this article on the bottom, check out some of these settings here. I could add it to my list here, which I just did. I could press the headphone icon and I could have it read this article to me. This is a really cool option here. It's kind of like audible if you're used to that. And you have your upload. So recommend to friends, send to a friend, share via, open in Safari or click link. Those are all the options here and you have your three dots to get more settings on that. So let me go back here. And one last thing to look at here, under Discover, if you press that plus icon, you could actually follow people like any social media, and you could link this to your Twitter and Facebook and actually saves article from there or connect to people from those social media. And to do that is you go to the profile icon on the bottom and then you press setting on top. And here, if you scroll down to the bottom of the page here, you should see linked accounts, Twitter and Facebook. And that's how you could link to your Twitter and your Facebook accounts and save article directly from those accounts. And there are a bunch of premium options. If you press go premium, you could see all these different options that you could get from a premium membership to pocket app. And if you find it useful, you could always upgrade. Please give this video a thumbs up. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss the next great app. And I hope to catch you next time. Thanks for watching.